Hello everyone. Today we are going to read Lenin's Guests. The author is Menaka Raman. The illustrator is Kal Sangvi and the publisher is Pratham Books. So let's read Lenin's Guests. Who do you think is Lenin? And who are his guests? Can you tell anything in this picture? You can't really make out who these are. So you don't know. So let's read the story and find out. Post. Who could that be from? Wonders Lenin. In this picture, you can see that the postman has come and he has put this letter under the door and this, this seems to be Lenin. And he is thinking, hmm, who is that letter from? Ah, from Rajan Mama. Dear Lenin, Two of my friends will be passing through Madurai on the 12th of April. They need a place to rest for a while. They should reach your house by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I know you will look after them well. Love, Mama. So what do we have here? This is a letter from Lenin's uncle, Rajan Mama. And he has said that two of his friends are going through Madurai. Madurai is where Lenin lives. And so two of his friends are go going through Madurai on 12th of April. And they just need a place to rest for a while. And they'll be there at Lenin's house by around three o'clock in the afternoon and Raj and Mama wants Lenin to look after them, take care of them, give them a place to rest, something to eat or drink and so that they can get some rest and continue on their journey. Today is the 12th of April, a hot and muggy day. Cha needs more sugar. Kring. The doorbell rings loudly. So what's going on in this picture? Can you can you tell what what Lenin is doing here? Look at all these uh, limes. What do you think he's doing? He is making lime juice from these limes and his first attempt looks like it was not sweet enough and he had to spit it out and get more sugar. And then at that time correctly, the doorbell rings. What do you think is the time? It is 2.30. The small hand is on two and the large hand is on six, which means it is 2.30 and his guests are here. Oh, hello, hello. Please come inside, says Lenin. So who do we have here? Here are Lenin's guests. This is a camel and this on top of the camel's head is a praying mantis. So who are these? A praying mantis is a type of insect and these two are apparently traveling and they want a place to rest for a while. And so Lenin welcomes them inside his home. Please have some lime juice. 
I'm here, Lenin is welcoming them with something to drink. It's a hot and muggy day. Muggy meaning humid. It had there is a lot of moisture. There is a lot of water in the air, and it is muggy. And he is pouring out some lime juice for them. Look at these glasses. He's pouring it into these glasses. And who are his guests? A camel and a praying mantis. Do you think they will be able to drink this lime juice? Let's see. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I'll be right back, says Lenin. So what happens? Look at these glasses. The glass size is too small for the camel's mouth. Can you see the camel's mouth is big? It's too big for the glass. So the camel can't reach the lime juice inside this glass. What about the praying mantis? How is he going to drink from this glass? He can't, he's an insect. He has to somehow go into the glass, how is that going to work? Otherwise, he'll fall into the lime juice. No, he won't be able to drink it without falling. In. So Lenin says, oh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't think about this. Let me come back with something else. Clang, ta -da toing. Oh, what shall I serve the juice in? Ah this and this. So what does Lenin do? He goes into the kitchen and he is throwing around some pots and pans and glasses. See, this is all the different things that he has in the kitchen. He's trying to find out what is a better option for serving the juice and looks like he's found something. Let's see how that works. Try this. You must be so thirsty. So here you can see Lenin is pouring the lime juice into this bowl and into this vase. And let's see how that works. Oh no. So what happened? The camel's head got stuck in the vase. Yes, his mouth can go in, but it is too narrow here, right? At the top. And so when the camel puts his head in, he's not able to pull his head back out. And what about the praying mantis? He falls into the bowl. The bowl is too wide and he got wet and he is not really drinking the lime juice. So what next? I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. And here you can see Lenin is struggling to get this vase off of the camel's mouth by pulling it. And here he has put this tea filter to rescue the praying mantis out of the lime juice into in the bowl that the mantis fell into. Please have your juice now. And what do we have here? There is this big bowl and there is this small cup. Is it a cup or it might be even a lid? Do you think this will work? Oh no, I am so sorry. I'll be right back. What happened this time? This was a different problem. This time he just forgot to put lime juice into the two containers. And so now here he is pouring the lime juice in. Let's see if it works this time. Glug, 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 glug. So what happened? See, you can see the camel is able to nicely drink the lime juice out of this big bowl and he can take his head out too and here we have the praying mantis the mantis is able to drink out of this 
tiny cup and so both of them are now satisfied and lenin has made his guests happy if these animals joined lenin's juice party what would he serve them juice in turn the page for answers sunbird giraffe toucan cat and here you have these four containers which one do you think matches with which one so you can see depending on what the animal is their need is a little different so you have to find out which container fits which animal the sunbird you can see has this long narrow thin beak and so it needs something long and thin to drink from the toucan has a beak that's wider it's fatter so something thin won't work for the toucan it needs a different kind of container the giraffe has a long neck and a long mouth also so it needs something bigger to drink the lime juice from and this is like the camel a little bit and finally the cat can only be on the ground on a flat surface it can't fly like the birds and it can't reach like the giraffe it can only go this far right and can drink the lime juice so can you match the animal to the container and here are the answers you have this long thin test tube for the sunbird this glass for the toucan this big bowl for the giraffe and this small shallow bowl for the cat so this story was all about how lenin had to try and guess try and understand based on the animal what kind of vessel would suit it better i hope you enjoyed the story thank you the difficult words in this story are to wonder to think muggy humid with lot of water in the air camel an animal with a long neck and wide mouth praying mantis an insect that has two legs in front of it as if it is praying sunbird a type of bird with a thin long beak toucan a type of bird with a wide beak giraffe an animal with a long neck try these questions what is the story about and what did you learn from it choose two or three more animals or birds around you and write how you would give them something to drink